Good morning, beautiful souls. Happy Monday. Welcome to the start of a new week. And it's med yeah, it's Meditation Monday. And it's very misty and murky in, in southern England today. And uh, the sun's just come up, so here we go. Now, we've got a Gemini full moon. Yay! I don't, if, I don't know if anybody, if you, any of you could see it last night, but it was very, very powerful. And combined with the with well particularly where i am with the the very kind of the thick mist and thick fog that we had the veils are incredibly thin meaning lots of you will have been feeling the energies very strongly last night and of course we're we're rolling ever towards the the 21st of december so with it being a full moon um, my natural inclination is to work with the incredible Archangel Crystal and our causal chakras, which is just above the top of our heads. Now, a lot of you who already work with this chakra um, will, will be aware of it. It goes into almost a state of hypertension when the when the energies are coming in from um, the, the full moons like this. Now, over the years, so particularly over the last eight years, uh, many of you will agree we've had no, the 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 old traditional, oh, it's the full moon, seems to have completely disappeared. There's no such thing as a normal moon anymore. They're all super moons, hyper, you know, and anything to do with the moon tends to be incredibly powerful. And that's for a, that's for a very, it's for a very distinctive reason. It's the fact that the light of the, the light of the, the sun, the Helios sun, which I was talking about in my previous video, it tends to have been a very kind of like a, a it's been a, almost like a masculine trigger for the ascension process. Needed that very kind of like intensive masculine energy burst to get the ascension process rolling. So in order to create balance within the energies, the moon has kind of come into play in a very, very, in a very powerful way since the cosmic moment. So all of the light that's coming in from the great central sun that, that is usually kind of, is, is, is now being beamed directly to us and is, is about to grow kind of exponentially when, when the others join it on the, on the, on the solstice. On, particularly on full moons, like the ones that we've got at the moment, light is reflected from our moon down to us. Now, the job of the, 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 lo the lunar energies has been to add a significant amount of divine feminine energy to this kind of ascension melting pot that we've got to balance everything out. And so as you know, as, as we've gone through the last eight years or so, the moons that we've received, the, the new moons, the full moons, anything to do with the lunar activity has become increasingly powerful. Firstly, because we now have a causal chakra that is active 24, day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, directly above our crowns. Now, that chakra receives all of the lunar energies that come in and also the Christ light, the, the energies from the archangels, any of the other pure white beings and, and distributes it directly through the rest of our chakra system, our four body system. And it's had a pivotal role in balancing us out over, over, over the kind of the period of very rapid growth that we've had. So I've been feeling my causal chakra for the last 48 hours. I know some of you will have had as well. So let's just do a, a meditation to work with that energy and, and bring it in so that we can utilize it to its maximum capacity this morning. So just close your eyes wherever you are in the world. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, begin to focus upon your causal chakra. It sits above the top of your crown and it looks like your own personal moon. Take another deep breath in. And as you're breathing into your lungs, imagine yourself breathing in bright golden white Christ light. This light is very prevalent around us at the moment. It's one of the most easy to access ascension energies that are available to us. So just breathe in that Christ light, breathe it into every cell of your physical body. As you feel the cells of your physical body lighting up, Feel the Christ light moving into your mental body 
and just feel your thoughts. Any of the spin that might be occurring within the mental body, just feel it slowing down and just relaxing completely. Deliberately breathe Christ light into your mental body and just feel all of your thoughts, all of your perceptions aligning with that of your higher self. And just allow the Christ light to continue to move into your emotional body. And some of you may be feeling that your emotional bodies are overburdened and overburdened at the moment. You might be feeling things yourselves. You might be picking it up from other people. Just allow the Christ light to flood through you. And release all of these burdens. All of these energies that probably don't belong to you and any of the fears or any of the emotional things that you might be experiencing at a lower level at the moment. And allow it to flood out into your spiritual fields. Now your spiritual fields are vast compared to where they used to be. So as you breathe in, breathe out and just let this golden light flood out all around you. Take another deep breath in. Breathe golden light out into your spiritual fields. And some of you might even notice that your spiritual fields are extending for a very long way all around you. You cover a huge radius with your energy, which is why your light and your vibration is so important at this time. And while you've been breathing and relaxing and lighting up your fields, Archangel Christiel has joined us, okay? And to see him as this beautiful, radiant, moon white presence with golden and rainbow lights within as well. Archangel Christian is a universal archangel or a universal angel that began to join us for our ascension process during a pivotal moment during 2014 and some of us have got to know him very well. Now he is lighting up your causal chakra just above the top of your head. So feel your causal chakra now going into a state of divine expansion. Feel it lighting up, feel it expanding. See your own personal moon glowing brighter than you have ever seen before. And now just observe a finger of light beginning to leave your causal chakra and travelling upwards. See it moving up and up. Until it makes the relatively short trip to our own moon. And to sense and feel your causal chakra connecting with the divine feminine light of our own radiant moon. And bring that energy down again. So reaching up, connecting to the moon and bring that additional light, that additional energy, that divine feminine luminosity back down into your own causal and feel it expanding even more. Now you are glowing very brightly now. And once again, Archangel Christiel touches your causal chakra and it begins to pulse regularly. Once every 3.33 seconds, your causal chakra is now pulsing, radiating light like a beacon. And this is now serving to attract very high frequency souls from around the universe. 
as they see you radiating, as they see you acting as a beacon for the light, they will now respond and begin to come from all levels, from all aspects of the heavens. You may see archangels beginning to join you. You may see dragons of the higher light. You might see unicorns. And they are now beginning to move through your causal chakra to gain access to this plane of existence that we are sharing with so many others at the moment. So you are now opening up your causal chakra to allow yourself to be a portal of light and an entrance point for all of these high frequency souls. It only takes a few moments, just allow them to flood through dragons and unicorns and archangels and pure white beings of light. And so while it's doing this job with the moon, your causal chakra is also the doorway to the higher realms. Now stood in front of you is a very pure white unicorn. Some of you may even perceive this unicorn as golden as well. Golden white unicorns are becoming very well connected with us at the moment. And this unicorn has either a message or a gift for you at this moment in time for your ascension process. I've been told it's quite important this morning as well. So what is this unicorn bringing to you at this precise moment in time? It could be a gift, it could be a key, it could be a code, it could be a memory from a past life, or it could simply be a very high frequency, high level activation for you at this time as we're building up, building up our light in this process. And some of you may even feel its horn of light touching your third eye and assisting you to clear that final part of the veil. And then the unicorn steps back. So just take a few moments now to sense and feel your causal chakra above the top of your crown. And my crow friends are very lively this morning. And just feel yourself fully lit up. Now this is the best way to bring in that divine feminine energy from the moon and integrate it into your bodies and fields. But also opening the doorway to allow more higher frequency souls to connect with us here on earth just feel your vibration it will have risen a great deal when you do that simple exercise so just allow the light to come in allow your fields to expand allow all of the worries and stresses and strains or anything else that you might be carrying at this particular point in time to have just drained away completely with that exercise you can do it whenever you want there's not you there's the thing that is so amazing at the moment is the techniques that we are using it's now very difficult to overdo them say 10 15 years ago you'd have to be careful maybe of, of kind of overcooking yourself bringing too much light in at the moment all i've noticed is the more you do it the more supported you are by the frequencies around us things have changed a great deal so i hope you enjoyed that meditation and and whatever message or key or code or activation that Unicorn had to present this morning would have been very, very pertinent for whatever you are about to do on your ascension pathway or are already in the process of doing. And I'm looking forward to everyone joining Diana and I for the great shift of the working for the great shift of 2020 tonight. And so as, long, as many of you know, that the Zoom was fully booked some considerable time ago, but if, um, if you're joining us for the recording, it will be just as powerful. So sending you all loads of love. Hope you have a beautiful start to the week. Happy full moon, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.